right, guys. With the recent reveal for Squadron 42, it actually showcased what I believe CIG intends for Master Mode. I think this is Master Mode fully realized. And uh, let me show you what I mean. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for Lol TI Argo Alice. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. So with the latest inside um, Squadron 42 reveal, with the first and foremost, Squadron 42 reveal was was amazing. It was fantastic in terms of how they, they uh, the gameplay was, the cinematics of it, and uh, the experience that they delivered was, was, was amazing. I haven't seen anything like that before, right? So while I was watching it, after I watched it, I realized that you know, as of late in the PU, um, the community has been having a lot of issues with uh, the upcoming changes in terms of mass mode, ships are too slow and things of that nature. And I've been um, somewhat vocal to, to say that let CIG cook, let them, you know, fully implement what they want to implement because they have a vision of what they want to deliver into the PU, which in which we're yet to see. And I've always said in those videos that CIG has internal builds of big ship combat um, and uh, and how these big ships are going to be able to interact and 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 fight and and you know and and have them balanced in that way in terms of their role and their purposes and essentially the light fighters are going to be icing on the cake you know so. The primary means of combat are going to be these big ships. Okay. So um in Inside in Squadron 42, they did uh showcase this. Um, I think I think this is the fully realized master mode that CIG is trying to put into the P. So let's take a watch. All right, so right here at this scene, right? Argus, so shift your position back and drift eight degrees off X axis. That should bring that Morler into your field of fire. Corvus, redirect to fill the gap and take those gunboats up integrity. All right, so this scene right here is what I think what CIG is going for in terms of what the actual combat experience is going to be when i said the big ships are going to be the primary means of combat vessels this is what they're trying to do they want or to or combat scenarios to look and feel like this the capital ships um the flagships are going to be commanding and having a view of all of their assets on the field like this and give commands like that right these big ships have hollow tables like this already right so they want this is the reason why they're slowing things down because this is what they want this is the experience they want to deliver into the pu and look how they they kicked it out of the park with squadron 42 and how everything has been slowed down the fighters are not going at thousands of meters per second they're going at the right speed this way they're fighting in between these big ships if these big if these fighters were going at a thousand meters per second there's no way they'll, they'll be around this while these big ships are slugging it out right so let's just continue your position back and drift eight degrees off X axis. That should bring that Morler into your field of fire. Corvus, redirect to fill the gap and take those gunboats up integrity. Look at this. Look at this. This is what CIG wants to deliver into the PU. Right. This is when I said CIG have internal builds of what they want 
ship combat to look like is essentially what we're looking at right here right this is just think in the pu this will be essentially org versus org combat and you know none of these ships are flying at ridiculously fast speeds the big ships all have different roles and different purposes they have gunships they have torpedo boats they have um carriers all within these fleets and on both sides uee as well as the van duel they were they are coordinating these big ships and using them for their role and purpose right and then notice all the light fighters are going fast enough but not too fast that they're flying in between these big ships and you know attacking the focus firing on certain strategic objectives essentially right Simitar, your turn to play bait this is what they mean this is what they want to do Let's see. Push forward. Let's see how strong that line is. Right now, their support. This is what they want to deliver, guys. Push forward. Let's see how strong that line is. Look, look at this experience, guys. Just think of it, right? Being um, an org leader or being, um, you know, an admiral in, in a scenario like this, and you're commanding a fleet to go into a fight with another org, or you guys are in a war. And you guys bring your big assets like this and you're commanding, right? This is why master mode is being implemented into the PU guys. This is why they want us to be able to do this in the PU. So when we see them slowing things down, you know, making changes and stuff like that, this is their vision. This is Chris Roberts vision. Right. This is why Squadron 32 is taking so long. He wants this. He has he has in his mind how he wants things to play out. And this is what it is. And us watching this blew our minds. Like I was literally at the edge of my seat watching Squadron 42 when they revealed it. And it was amazing. So now imagine in the PU, you and your org or you and your group of friends slugging it out with another group like this where in the gaming industry can you have something like this right so right now it gets even deeper right so now if you pay attention the fighters are not going too fast they're fast enough that they're still around the scene of the fight See, they're not too fast. Multiple impacts, sir. Could have been capital ship fire. No, it's too focused. It's more like heavy fighters. Do we have a line on them? The turrets have been taken out, sir. Going lead. Come in. We need you to sweep up some fighters on us. Look at this, right? You know, everything is going slow enough that the commander can make decisions on the fly. Um, the primary bango has um, damaged turrets, so they, they need turret support. They need turret support from one of the other, I think it was, is it a, a javelin? To come close enough and defend the bango with turret support, right? This is why they're slowing things down. Okay, so now if we go further into this see the experience become deeper when even when your ship gets destroyed you're still within the realm of the battlefield combat is still happening on the outside but while let's say your ship has been disabled your ship you know you have a javelin or you have an idris or you have a polaris that's now been crippled in the battlefield and it's a wreck and you need to escape as a person 
you know, you get to do that while everything is still happening around you. And the way they're able to do this is because ships are not flying too fast. They're all within the same realm of the battlefield. Okay. So now this is how you're able to experience things. So things like boarding, you know, engineering gameplay within, within the interiors of the ship and scenarios like this. Scenarios like this, right? Scenarios like this will happen in the battlefield. Just imagine in the PU, this is happening to you. Using push pull, all of this they're trying to put it into the PU. You know what I mean? So essentially, this is what uh, I'm trying to get people to understand that the the changes that they're making in the in in, in the Star Citizen Persistent Universe, CIG has a vision, and I think what they've done is they've showcased that vision through the Squadron Forty Two reveal this uh citizen con and i think it's a phenomenal experience that they want to deliver yes it's not perfect all the fighters are a little bit slow but i'm sure once they get the the dial in the big ships they'll come back to the fighters to make sure that they're fast enough this way there's a little bit of skill in there uh you know to be able to dodge um weapon fire and and, and things like that right but the the notion of this is this is what cig is trying to deliver all right before i let you go uh, I'd like to let you know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.